हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गो वीएम लैब एनएसएक्सटी फॉर बिगिनर्स लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस वेरी फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ आवर एनएसएक्सटी फॉर बिगिनर्स लेक्चर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू वॉक यू थ्रू एनएसएक्सटी वेब इंटरफेस यूआई एंड विल मेक यू गाइस फैमिलियर विद एनएसएक्सटी डैशबोर्ड एंड विल सी दैट व्हाट ऑल द वेरियस ऑप्शंस आर अवेलेबल एंड व्हाट ऑल द नेटवर्किंग एंड सिक्योरिटी सर्विसेज कैन बी कॉन्फिगर्ड फ्रॉम आवर एनएसएक्सटी यूआई so with that let's get started now as you could see that unlike nsxv if you are familiar with the nsxv product you might have seen that nsxv can be managed or accessed through our v center ui but nsxt has a dedicated ui through which we can manage and configure the entire networking and security services provided by nsxt product and that's where basically if you do see that this is the nsx dedicated ui so that's the name of our nsx manager fqdn so you enter the fqdn of our nsx manager in the web interface and you will be prompted to this particular ui a very dedicated ui for nsxt so that is our nsxt manager now you give a credential so our standard user is admin the password and click here to login and as as when you click on login it will give you the nsxt manager dashboard and look at that that is our nsxt dedicated ui unlike nsx v now if you look at this particular ui it on the left side it clearly tells us that that is our nsxt manager ui now on the right side you do see that that's a search icon so if you if you would like to search about any of the component you can directly search on this particular icon so just click on that icon search for let's say segments so as you do see that as soon as you type it here the navigation on the right side comes there what exactly we want to search about its segments or its profiles related to those segments so that's what this search option is all about it now on the now we have a this bell icon that is a notification icon so if you click on that it will give you information about all the notifications then what we have it is the help icon so it will give you information about help api documentation if you click on api documentation it will directly navigate you to the nsxt data center api guide if you want to get the information about the version of nsxt click on about and look at that it tells us that the version is 3.1.2 now one of the very interesting user interface what ns60 dashboard gives us is basically the themes so it has a two themes dark theme and light mode so as you do see that it gives us two modes light mode and dark mode so right now what you do see that it's a light mode and if you want to change it to the dark mode just click on that moon icon and you will see that it actually changes the mode from light theme to a darker theme that's a very good intuitive ui what nsxt gives us unlike nsx v now that's a user admin user so as you could see that we are logged in using admin user so that's what our top panel of our nsxt dashboard now below that if you do see that we have a couple of options like home so that's our home dashboard if the first what we have it is the search option so if you want to search about any of the nsx components you can directly use this search bar and it will get you to, to those results now below that we have a overview dashboard as you rightly see it here so that's our overview dashboard now what that overview dashboard uh, gives us it gives us a very brief information about our entire nsx infrastructure so the first section if you do see that the first section is about networking so it gives us information about tier 0 gateways tier 1 gateways so as of now you do see that we have a one tier 0 gateway created on that infrastructure whereas there is no tier 1 gateway has been created similarly it gives us information like we have created three segments as of now but there is no nat rules no evpn tenants and there is no vpn and load balancer services has been configured so far on that infrastructure that's what networking interface is all about it it gives us a very good summarize information about a networking components of our nsx infrastructure then we have a second option is about security so this particular section gives us information about security overview for example like how many distributed firewall policies we have created so it tells us that 
as of now we have created two distributed firewall policies we have created one gateway policies there is no endpoint policies and network introspection has been created so far but we have one network introspection services created for east west traffic now what is network introspection what is distributed firewall gateway policy let's keep all this question aside because as when we progress with this nsxt lecture series we will be discussing and going deeper about these services as of now we are just making you guys familiar with the nsxt dashboard and what all the information we can re retrieve from this overview dashboard so now scroll down little bit and you do see that the third section what we have it is inventory section so that inventory section give us information about like what all virtual machines we have deployed on this on this nsx solution what all the services what all the context profile has been available as a part of inventory on that particular on our nsx infrastructure and the grouping objects now the next section what we have it is system now this particular system components give 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 us information about all those components which comprise our, our fabric for example transport zones as you do see that so it give us information about transport zone transport nodes edge cluster nsx management nodes number of host and the cluster so as you could see that as of now we have created four transport zones four edge transport nodes have been created one edge cluster one nsx management node has been deployed so far now and that's where you do see one pop-up saying that three node cluster recommended because nsx gives us a capability of deploying three nsx manager nodes to give us a high availability and that's the reason because we had just have deployed one nsx management node that's the reason the recommendation is deploying three node cluster three node nsx cluster to protect our nsx manager for any kind of failures so that's okay so that's where what we have it is basically we are having these four sections and this overview dashboard gives us a very brief summary of all of these services and their relative components the next what we have it is alarms so when you click on the alarms again we do see what a very intuitive ui a very good interface giving us information about alarms so the first section talks about the active alarms so do we have any active alarms as of now which got triggered the number is zero which means that there is no active alarms as of now then the next talks about that what are the top feature which has triggered those alarms and that's where we do see that the the three alarms are coming from a feature like communication and the one alarm is coming from an infrastructure service so that's where we have these two alarms as you rightly see it here then it talks about the top events by occurrence like giving a little bit more information about these alarms and if you just hover it into these alarms it will give you information like a communication alarms control channel to transport node is down whereas the infrastructure services says that one of the service infrastructure one of the infrastructure service status is unknown so it gives it's a very intuitive ui what nsxt gives us as compared to our nsx v as you rightly see it here now below that if you do see that if you scroll a little bit you do see that a more information about these alarms so the first category it's about communication i mean what category this alarm belongs to then the next what we have it is event type like what exactly what event has triggered this particular alarm the next what we have is the node on which node this alarm has got triggered then the name of that entity and the severity of that particular alarm whether it's a critical whether it's a medium or whether it, it can be a just a warning and at what time this alarm has been triggered and the next the last what we have it is the alarm state which tells us that what is the state of that alarm now if you want to get the information about these alarms so you can go and click here click on that arrow scroll a little bit and look at that it gives us a description about that alarm a very clear description it tells us that controller service on our manager node to the transport node is down for at least three minutes and that is the reason this alarm got triggered as a part of communication because one of the controller service on our manager node is not able to reach out to the transport node at least three times and that's where it has generated this alarm which is a very less severity because that alarm has got resolved because that's what the alarm state says that now if you go sc scroll little bit it will also give you the recommended action now when this alarm got triggered 
what as an administrator we are supposed to do and it clearly tells us that check the connectivity from controller services on manager node and the transport node via ping and trace route so we have to go and run the the ping command between transport node and our controller services from on the nsx manager node and we have to make sure that as you rightly see that vmware tells us very clearly that the latency value should be 150 millisecond or less so we should not have a latency between latency value between manager node and the transport node more than 150 millisecond so that's what a very good information a very elaborative information has been provided by vmware in the dashboard itself now you want to see the alarm definitions like as we have discussed that there are alarms like uh, coming from a category like communication or maybe category like infrastructure services so if you want to get more details about it click on the alarm definitions and when you click on alarm definitions look at that vmware has a multiple category of this alarms like alarm management audit log health some alarms are related to capacity alarm if we reach out that maximum capacity that's where this alarm will get triggered as a severity of critical then you scroll down little bit and you will see that the other category of alarm and look at that that's the alarm what we have seen it the, the category of that alarm was communication and then we have an alarm like control channel to manager is down or maybe it's too long it's down for too long and that's so on so forth and that's where we do see the severity of these alarms so we can get a more elaborative information about these alarms from the nsxt dashboard itself and you do see that there's a bunch of uh, capabilities or categories of these alarms are available right there on the nsx dashboard the next what we have it is the monitoring dashboard so let's click on monitoring dashboard and within that monitoring dashboard we also have a four different dashboard so let's click on the system dashboard so click on the system dashboard and look at that what an intuitive ux interface nsxt manager gives us in terms of usability and makes admin life much simpler as compared to a traditional nsxv interface so if you if you look at that the first component what we have it is the management cluster so this particular circle is actually giving us information about management cluster we just have deployed one nsx manager nodes where the recommendation is to deploy three node nsx manager cluster to give us high availability and fault tolerant capabilities but as of now because it's a lab environment so that's where vmware just have deployed one nsx node the next section what you do see that is the fabric it so all these components like what you see it here transport nodes edge transport nodes transport zones they all fall into a fabric category of nsx infrastructure and it it gives us information that we have total four transport nodes as the count you do see that the green sign says that we have a two transport node which are up but there are two transport node if you just hover it there you it tells us that there are two transport nodes which are not yet configured as you do see that on the label then the next section is four transport edge nodes so as you do see that we have all the four edge transport nodes are up and running they are in the healthy state then we have the next is transport zones as you rightly see it here just click on the hover and it says that we have a two transport zones and then there are two transport zones which are in unknown state last what we have it is a compute manager and as of now we just have a one compute manager added to our nsx manager but we can integrate more than one compute manager in our nsx manager now if you want to get more details about these uh, let's say you want to get more details about this compute manager so click on compute manager and it will directly navigate you to the compute manager section and that's where you will see that as of now there is a one vcenter server named as vcsa-01a has been added to nsx manager inventory as a compute manager so that's a that that's where this dashboard gets really useful to navigate to the various components of our nsx infrastructure let's go back to the previous dashboard scroll down a little bit and that's where we have a backup so as of now it says that the back automatic backups are disabled and the next what we have it is an endpoint protection so as of now there is no endpoint protection has been enabled or deployed on our nsx deployment now click on that dashboard again let's click on networking and security and now it will gonna give us a dashboard very specific to networking and security and if you do see that the first section give us information about security where it tells us that how many groups we have created as of now we have not created any group 
and then the next what we have it is a distributed firewall policies and it tells us very clearly that we have created two distributed firewall policies so that's what is all about security the next what we have it about the gateways nsx gateways where it tells us that we have deployed one tier zero gateway and there is no tier one gateway has been deployed again what is tier one gateway what is tier zero gateway we are not getting into we have not discussed about these gateways so stay tuned for our next lectures where we'll go and discuss about what are these tier zero and tier one gateways as of now we are just understanding and making you guys familiar with the nsxt dashboard the next what we have it is a segment section it clearly tells us that we have created three nsxt logical segments as you rightly see it here on the counter and now from the load balancer no load balancer has been configured and there is no vpn services has been configured on nsx t now let's go back to our third dashboard which is compliance report now this compliance report dashboard is just going to give us information about non-compliant resources information for example it tells us that certificates is not c assigned on your nsx manager it tells us that load balancer fifth global setting is disabled so an, on our load balancer a FIPS which is a security setting is disabled so that's a compliance report it's giving us and the last what we have it is basically custom dashboard so nsx does not only have a predefined dashboards what we have gone through but it also gives you capability of creating your own custom dashboard and that's where basically you can configure widgets using nsx api calls and create your own monitoring custom dashboard this concludes our lecture on navigating through NSX Manager UI and walking you through an overview dashboard of our NSX T Manager, where we have seen that how from a single dashboard we can get a very brief summary information about networking, security system, and inventory component of our NSX T infrastructure. Now, stay tuned for our next lecture where we are going to go and discuss about dedicated dashboard for our networking services, security services, and system specific services which comprise our entire NSX infrastructure. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this lecture. Thanks for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.